Hey everybody, this is Al from PC Tech Review 101 coming back to you with another video. In today's video I'm going to show you how to properly download and install MSI Afterburner for your Windows PC or laptop. And it's good as of June 2019. But first, please don't forget to subscribe down below and help me reach 1000 subscribers. And thank you for watching. Well, let's get to it. Let's open up your browser and type in WinRAR in your search bar. You'll come to a page that looks like this and it's this first option right here. Go ahead and click on it. Make sure it's exactly the way it looks here. As you could see we're going to be installing this version 5.71. It's a stable version. Make sure it's not a beta. And go ahead and choose the language that you want in my case it's going to be English and choose the Windows version again in my case it's the 64 bit and chances are so will yours 32-bit uh, is quite obsolete by now especially in 2019 for gaming but it's really up to you what you have so go ahead and hit the version you want and it's a small file it will be an instant download go ahead and open it up Okay, I'll bring you to this window here. Go ahead and hit install. And hit OK. You don't change any of this stuff here. This comes standard. Go ahead, hit OK. And that's it. We're done with WinRAR, which we're going to need to unzip the MSI Afterburner download here. Hold on. Now go back to your search bar and type in MSI Afterburner and you will come to the screen here and it's this first option here this is the MSI website brings you to this home page and now we scroll all the way down to the bottom this may take a little while depends on how fast your computer is in my case it's a pretty slow one here I'm using for this video but it shouldn't be too long. Oh, there it is. And this option here, MSI Afterburner, that's what you're going to choose. We have two versions here. We have the download or beta. Uh, always go for the download because it's uh, the regular version. It's more stable. So that's what we're going to choose today. Go ahead and hit download. And then we're going to, of course, use the WinRAR to extract the file. And here it is. So again, it's a very small file, so it opens up instantly. Go ahead and highlight this uh, exe file, MSI Afterburner Setup exe. Double click on it. Now it's extract. Again, this should be very fast. It's a very small file. Okay, now the installation will begin. Go ahead, once again, choose the language. I'm going to choose English and go ahead hit next then you hit accept hit next again and then you'll come to this page here now uh, make sure that this bottom part is checked uh, you will need this second software to go along with MSI Afterburner for it to work properly this will allow you to display all your stats on uh, the screen while gaming without this it simply won't work so you go ahead and install next Go ahead hit next and I recommend uh, using your uh, main drive uh, where your operating system is for the software as you could see it's a very small file and it won't take much space at all go ahead and hit next and install I like to always uh, close out the uh, other windows to keep everything neat. Okay. 
okay here comes uh, the other software hit OK after choosing your language hit next hit accept hit next again and again as you can see it's a very small file go ahead and install it on your main drive and then hit install there you go we're almost at the end Here you have it, it's all done. And we'll go right into it just to show you just a few basic settings to get you started, and then you know, you make your own decisions later on. So go ahead and click on this little wheel here, and these are just simple settings that I like to start off with right off the bat. Uh, this here toggle on screen display you go ahead and make a hotkey for that I usually do like a shift and let's say F3 uh, hit apply uh, basically they'll just toggle your uh, stats on screen uh, when you're playing if you don't want it to be uh, in the background and the block in your view you could just toggle on and off and to just check your temperatures and your FPS it's really up to you uh, then next you go ahead and hit on monitoring and then just show you a quick simple setup some of the important uh, stats that you want to be displayed on the screen uh, GPU temperature yep you need that go ahead and hit show on display so when you see this in OSD next to it that means it'll, it'll go ahead it'll s display on your uh, screen so you, that's how you get it to come on your screen by hitting the show on screen display option uh, go ahead and scroll down further really all these things are up to you to choose uh, we're gonna hit CPU temperature that's important too you wanna see how hot your processor is running during gameplay uh, your CPU clock if you're overclocking or just wanna see if that turbo is kicking in while in game go ahead and hit show on screen on that one uh, RAM usage is pretty important too to see and the uh, last one very important here go ahead this one you have to check for the first time and then go ahead and click on show screen display and yeah that's pretty much some of the important things that you want to see while you're playing a game um, really it's up to you which ones you're gonna choose in, in your uh, graph here but uh, these are the main ones I choose so yeah that's pretty much it for the video here it's uh, very simple and straightforward um, you know uh, it's really up to you what you want to use it for over here you go ahead and you could overclock your uh, core clock or memory clock and stuff like that or increase the fan speed uh, it's very uh, simple to use uh, there's many tutorials out there but I just wanted to show you really quick how to download and install this uh, great software uh, thank you for watching and uh, please don't forget to subscribe down below and have a nice day.